I, I'd separate out the issue of the criminalization of marijuana from encouraging its use. I think there is no doubt that our criminal justice system generally is so heavily skewed towards cracking down on nonviolent drug offenders mm -hmm. that it has not just had a, a terrible effect on uh, many communities, particularly communities of color, rendering a lot of folks unemployable because they got felony records, disproportionate prison sentences. It costs a huge amount of money to states, and a lot of states are starting to figure that out. But what I'm encouraged by is you're starting to see not just liberal Democrats, but also some con very conservative Republicans recognize this doesn't make sense, including sort of the libertarian wing of the Republican and they Party. they see the money. Um, and they see the money and, and how costly it is to incarcerate. So we may actually be able to make some progress on the decriminalization side. At a certain point, if enough states uh, end up um, decriminalizing, uh, then Congress may then you know, reschedule uh, marijuana. Mm. Um, but I always say to folks, you know, uh, legalization or decriminalization is not a panacea. Do you feel the same way about meth? Mm -hmm. Do we feel the same way about coke? Uh, how about crack? How about heroin? And, and there is a legitimate, I think, concern about the overall effects this has on society and, and particularly vulnerable parts of our society. Substance abuse generally, legal and illegal substances, uh, is a problem. Locking somebody up for 20 years is probably not the best strategy, uh, and that's something that we have to re uh, rethink uh, as a society as a whole.